there and answer some questions and actually earn your very first badge and uh, put that on your, your digital resume. You can link right to it and you can tell school districts that you're up on your 21st century technologies and the trends in education. You know all about badging. Um, they're in beta testing right now, so it's a pretty new system. But if you are have any interest in, you know, HTML or JavaScript or coding, um, you can also go to Peer to Peer U. They're also doing a pilot program with badges. And there's another badge that Mozilla is doing, sort of in conjunction with Peer to Peer U, called a Hackasaurus badge, and that's some basic technological skills. Um, such as like, do you know how to copy and paste? And can you copy an image on the web? And can you do a, a backslash? And so those are two badges that you can earn right now and see in your digital backpack. Um, you can also learn about assessment and badging by going through the badging process. So something students sometimes say, I don't understand how you arrived at this grade. Or, you know, I thought I really did show this in my project. I thought I understood how pendulums work. Or, you know, I thought I was really explaining this well. Well, by using badging and that whole peer-to-peer -peer system, they can really start looking at what other students in the classroom are doing and what quality assignments are look like. So they might say, well, what's an example of doing a good presentation? And Joey has a good presentation badge and you, you know, YouTubed it and you can say, you know, this person earned this badge, you should go and talk to them, they'll show you the YouTube video and it, it's a good way of, of pulling that all together. And especially for your professional development too, as new teachers, you might, um, you might have questions about, well, what does good teaching look like? What's good professional development look like? Um, what do good lesson plans look like? And find someone with a really great lesson plan badge and, uh, learn, and learn what they're doing through that link that goes right to their website. So my last slide, uh, just some more information. I talked about Mozilla's badge backpack. That's the web address right there. A couple of examples of badge systems. Stack Overflow, again, is for more computing nerds. So if you have any technological questions, it's sort of like a giant open forum where peers are answering other peers' questions and getting badges based on how good their answers are. And it's sort of a, a preliminary badge system. Khan Academy, which I know um, Eileen has introduced you to, has a really, really, really great, yes, of course, you can put it on SlideShare, um, really great badge system. Even if, you know, you don't want to use the videos because they're very top-down heavy, um, you can still look at their badge system, sort of what their component badges look like, what are some examples of badges, they're really great there. And P2PU has that pilot program I talked about with Mozilla. Again, they're more heavy into that, you know, 21st century technologies. Um, but it, it's, it's still worth it to look at. We're still in sort of the uh, first stages of badges, but it's moving pretty quickly. And for any of you who have a Twitter, um, that's my Twitter handle. So if you have any questions, feel free today, tomorrow, whenever, once you get into the classroom, feel free to contact me about badges or open learning in general. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them now. And Eileen, I think, wants to break you up into discussion groups. Hi. Uh, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Oops, oops. Thank you, thank so, you much, so much, Amy. Thank you so much, Amy. Um, um, as you can as see, you can this, this is very, very new, new innovative. innovative. Your students, Your students will understand, will understand the concept, concept and, it and it gives you a way to get, way them, to get more them more involved, involved in their own, in their own assessment. assessment. So I think so I'm, I think I'm creating, creating an awful, an awful echo. echo. So, so what I've what asked, asked in your group, in your group if you look if over, you look to, over the right, to the right, I have a pretty, have a pretty simple, simple question. question. Which is just Which is to get, just to you, get thinking you thinking about badges. About badges. Amy, Amy actually, actually has, an has an office in the building, in the building upstairs. Upstairs. I don't know what, I don't know what day, day she's, she's here, here, but you can see you some, can of, see her some of her slides up there. Up there. 
And, and um, she's, um, she's really, really moving, moving into this into new, this area, new area, area on a research, on a research basis, basis as well as, as, well as on, a on a practical basis. basis. So you'll so be hearing, hearing more about this, about this and, and I thought it was, I thought very, it was good very good that she come and come tell you and about, tell you about right it right at the beginning. So, so before you before break, you into, break your group, into your group, Amy's, Amy's much better much at computers, better at computers than, I. than I. So, Amy, are there any questions that you want to take from the group? And group, and do you want to maybe, put a, maybe put a in question the in the chat? Um, Denise asked, how many badges do I have? I actually only have uh, the two right now, the, the what is badging badge and the Hackasaurus badge. Um, I fooled around a little bit with peer-to-peer -peer U, but there are only a few places right now. Oh, well, I guess Khan Academy. So I probably have 50 badges then, <laughs> if you count all the badges in Khan. Um, because it's actually really motivating to go to con. You can get badges for um, doing some of the math ex exercises. And, like, it's surprising how motivating it is uh, just to, like, do simple arithmetic and you get a badge for it. It's great. Um, so I, <laughs> through con, I have a ton offered right now through Mozilla because it's such a pilot. Any other questions? Plus, it's very new right now, but hopefully within a year or two, you can generate your own badges. And I could see working with the kids in your class. Although, as Amy said right now, they're still working out some of the privacy issues with technology. So the concept's out there, but it can certainly um, help your students. It can help them assess each other. So you'll, so you'll see my, my prompt over here, here is asking you that when, when you do a complex project with your students, students there, there may be a lot of secondary skills that you, you don't, don't have time to evaluate, but you know, you know they can learn by helping, helping each other. other. So, so I'll, I'll ask, ask you to think, think about, about that. that. Amy says that, that she'll come, come into, into our, our discussion, discussion board. board. So you know, you know how, how we break out and then bring the ideas back to the discussion board? She's very, very interested in hearing, hearing your ideas, ideas and questions. questions. Um, um, she's, she's really, really moving, moving forward, forward on this for Empire, Empire State, State College. College. She's, she's looking, looking into some, some of these the new areas, areas that are coming, coming open. open. So, so she would like, like to hear your, your ideas, ideas and questions, questions too. too. 